Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors, like today's guest, Goodlow White of Porter White & Company in Birmingham, Alabama, to help business owners enjoy more personal freedom, grow their companies faster, and transition ownership seamlessly when the time comes. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're going to start out, good low. We're going to talk a little bit about um, your background and then your career path up until now. Could you tell our audience about that? Sure. Well, I started at a firm, New York Investment Bank, which is now called Credit Suisse. Oh, well, sure. Done work with them. Okay, and worked in their New York office for two years, and uh -huh. they sent me overseas to Hong Kong and to London, mm -hmm. so I mm -hmm. to see a lot of different things and worked with a lot of different companies. I, uh, then went back to business school mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, spent two years as the CFO of a, a software company mm -hmm. and then moved back here to Birmingham, Alabama, where I'm now the president of Port Wine Company. Okay. You and I just met. Yes. I've uh, heard some good things about you, but how would the people that know you the best, how do you think they'd describe you personally? You know, I think that uh, one of the things people might say is that I'm thoughtful mm -hmm. thorough. Mm -hmm. I like to get to the bottom of things. Mm -hmm. um, persistent, mm -hmm. um, but patient. Okay. One of the things I learned being overseas is you have to be even-tempered. Mm -hmm. When there's a lot going on and a deal it could be falling apart or moving forward, you, you really just sort of have to maintain an even keel and keep your mind about you. Mm -hmm. um, also, probably involved in the community. I do a lot of work with certain nonprofits, particularly in the cultural and the arts. Um, and then, you know, another thing that's important is to be efficient. Mm -hmm. um, I think that comes with from, from an engineer by training and Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, I sort of have that mm -hmm. technical background and analytical thinking, but I like to do things efficiently, but I understand that the real world doesn't always work that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That come, that's where the patience comes back in, that's right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to develop that over time. <laughs> Hopefully I'm more patient now than I was 10 years ago. Porter White, can you tell our, our uh, audience a little bit more about the firm and everything that they offer? Sure. We are a, an investment bank. We were founded about 40 years ago, mm -hmm. which, you know, for an investment bank probably makes us pretty old. Right. Uh, we're based here in Birmingham, Alabama, serving mostly clients in our geographic region. Mm -hmm. We have certain specialties that take us further afield. Uh, you know, I was asked once what an investment banker does in my mm -hmm. interview for Credit Suisse, and I had to admit that, you know, even though my father started this firm, he never could tell me what investment yeah. bankers did. Uh -huh. And so I finally came up with a good definition with the help of the person who interviewed me. It's basically we value things, uh, we connect buyers and sellers, uh -huh. and we understand how markets work. Okay. Because if you want to have an exit, you mm -hmm. need to understand those three to, to make it go well. Right. What do you think differentiates you from some of the other investment banking firms? Well, yeah, from certainly larger firms, um, you know, we attract some of the, the same qualities. And we really have two sides to our firm. One that invests capital. We have about $345 million in assets under management for institutions and individuals. Um, and then we have the financial advisory side of our firm where we're providing advice to people that need capital or have challenges that they need to overcome, mm -hmm. financial analytics can help solve. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really that perspective from looking at both sides of the fence, mm -hmm. uh, investing capital and needing capital or problems with capital that gives us a, mm -hmm. I think a different perspective. Mm -hmm. I've looked for other firms like us and certainly larger firms do it, but not really smaller firms like ours. Okay. Is there any one thing you like to do the most at uh, your company? Well, I think the thing that's always attracted me the most is to work with people either have good ideas to start a business or to mm -hmm. grow a business and to make it successful. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're really generalists, mm -hmm. so it's the variety of things. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have a team of smart people, mm -hmm. all of them are good with numbers, all of them have specific capabilities and experiences, and we sort of bring that together and, and work on a variety of different challenges. Okay. Last question. Business owners that watch our show are looking for one of a few different things. They might, may want to enjoy a little more personal freedom, take a little more time away from the business. Right. They may want to be looking to grow their company faster. They may be looking to accomplish a transition either through a third-party sale or some type of transfer to an insider. 
And then more recently, we're running into business owners that are having a problem redefining their purpose mm -hmm. uh, after, they, after they leave their company, or sometimes they drag their feet le about leaving because right. of that. If you could give them one tip in any one of those four areas, what do you think it would be? Well, you know, I told you that we work with people to invest money. Mm -hmm. And one of the big questions we often get asked is, you know, how much do I need to retire? Mm -hmm. So you really need to think about the end game first. Okay. What do you really want? For some people, they're so tied to their business, they need to find a role mm -hmm. that they can stay engaged. Mm -hmm. Some people have other passions they want to go pursue. Right. But you've really got to start there. Mm -hmm. And then we have to figure out, well, what money is, does that need? Mm -hmm. And so for some you know, people, well, it we, goes back to the valuation. Mm -hmm. What's your company worth? Mm -hmm. To whom? Maybe it's worth more to you than to someone else. And you've got to marry those two. Mm -hmm. And the answer maybe is we're not there yet. Mm -hmm. We've got to do some work to grow. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the answer is we are and the markets are receptive and now is the time. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's why we always like to start with what are the needs of our client and in the business owner, it's the need of the individual, mm -hmm. uh, which is very broad. Um, and then bring that back to specific objectives and then figure out from a variety of tools how to get there. Okay, good. Great information, great tip, and good interview. That was Goodlow White. He's with Porter White here in Birmingham, Alabama. For more information about their company, please check out the show notes for this episode on our website.